Hey go to marketing team it's Sine and I wanted to show you a quick workaround I found for drop downs and click funnel where you have a lot of options that you have to add and it's just a real pain in the butt to add them individually so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just clone this field I'm going to come in and it is a custom type but I'm going to change the name to state and this is the one that inspired me to really um, uh, uh, try to find a way around this because you know there's 50 something states and having to do this with the with the options every single time was kind of a, kind of a downer I'm sorry and I shouldn't have done that one I should have done um, this one sorry drop down add to page this one gets the options so custom type is the input here's the name and then what I do is I do one the first one just just to give me some place to look at now if you remember from an earlier video there is a way to edit this directly okay so you uh, I'm in Firefox using firebug I have an edit option right over here so I can take and replace this with something that I keep on file I have a um, uh, let's see, I have a hacks right here. So here is my list of states already alphabetized, all selected. You now they don't have any classes or anything like that, but it doesn't matter really. I'm just copying that. I'm gonna replace these. It drops it right in there. Close the edit, and you see it now has this. So I just save. And this is the beautiful thing. Look at this when I come in here here are all the options they've been defined for me I haven't had to set these up manually uh, and it does work I'll show you just bring it right over here so let's stop this webinar so as it plays here we go well hello everyone scroll down to the button that brings up the list and as you can see my um, state list contains all of the states so that's my quick workaround it works the same way in um, Chrome. The difference is you edit a little bit differently. Let me see if I can bring that up for you really quick. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to run in here in uh, Chrome. It works the same way. You right click, you say inspect, and with Chrome, the slight difference is let me make sure I have the right element. Come on. Inspect. I don't know why it's giving me grief. There we go. Uh, so with Chrome, the slight difference is you right-click here and you say edit as HTML. That brings you up a box outlined and then you just make the changes inside here. Okay, so I hope this helps you with uh, jumping through some of the hoops that ClickFunnels puts you through. Till next time, Sine signing out.